Hey guys, Ryan here again, Ray Tech Marine. Just wanted to show you tonight, uh, got a lot of requests from uh, the triple shock transducer guys. These are the, uh, the guys that are running the uh, hook uh, graphs uh, by Lawrence. So the hook two um, comes with uh, the triple shot mount and also the uh, new uh, hook uh, fish reveal ones, I believe. Mind you, I know some of them can also run the uh, uh, total scan or whatnot possibly three in one, but I'm not 100% sure about that, but for sure, uh, the triple shot, uh, triple shot skin, uh, transducer does uh, 2D side and down scan. So it's just like the uh, three in one as far as what it can do, only uh, it's the cheaper alternative to the more expensive uh, Elite TIs and uh, the TI2s, of course, and uh, the uh, Lawrence Lives, of course, which are the most expensive uh, units there are. So I uh, just want to show you tonight, I had a lot of guys asking about uh, the uh, triple shot mounts. Um, as many of you know, I've made the uh, transom mounts a while ago to replace the uh, just a factory plastic one that always breaks off right at this point. The transducer actually breaks and then it's garbage. So I made a transom mount um, that you physically have to glue to this actual transducer to be able to use it. But once you do, 100% bulletproof. Ever since doing that, I've had a lot of requests from the uh, triple shot guys wondering about trolling motor mounts. And uh, it took me a long time to figure out something. There's a lot of other ones on the ma on the uh, on the market, at least two uh, that I know of, uh, that they just basically hold on by the actual bolt at the front. And uh, whether they go both ways or whatever, you know, there's it's the same thing as what the transfer mount was. That you know, you hit something you into a rock or something, you're gonna break the transducer clean off, you're left with an expensive transducer mount. Um, and uh, just the only option ever again is to get another one and put it back on the way you go. So I have come out with a new mount. Um, and in reality, it's not a full transducer mount. Uh, I'm calling an auxiliary mount. So what actually happens is basically you go on my website, any of my current trolling motor three in one mounts, you start with that. Uh, the, whether it's the multi-fit mount, that's the cheapest mount I have, or uh, any of the guarded mounts, like this one here. This is for the Motor Guide XI-5. Um, so fully guarded, your three-in-one transducer bolts right to this, slap it on the trolling motor, and away you go. Um, so basically, you have your hook, triple shot transducer. You get one of my three-in-one mounts that works with any of the Lowrance structure scan transducers other than the short little LSS one that's pretty old by now. Um, so any of the current trolling motor brackets that I make, you get one of them and then you also purchase from me is this box out of the way. You also purchase the auxiliary bracket. Um, this is the RTL 4500. I'll zoom the camera in here in a second while I'm going to start showing you everything. So basically what's going to happen is you're going to modify, and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video, modify the triple shot transducer to have this mount glued permanently to it. And then the two mounts basically mate together. Um, just going to go like this. So then you're going to have a guarded, fully guarded triple shot mount. The cool thing about that is these graphs are pretty cheap. They're at the, the entry level graph is what they are basically. A lot of guys after running them for a year or two will want to upgrade, you know, their buddy wants to buy it off them. They'll go and upgrade to an Elite TI or whatnot. Cool thing about it is basically all you do is unbolt the auxiliary mount that the transducer is bolted to, leave this in place on your trolling motor and slap a three and one back on. So you spend a little bit more money up front in the end, this stays with your trolling motor. You can sell this and your buddy can buy from me, can buy a new mount for me. And also this will actually work with my transom mounts also. So if you've already glued this all on and you don't want it on the trolling motor anymore, you can buy one of my three in one transom mounts and actually slap this thing on and away you go. So it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna pull the camera down in closer um, just so I can show you exactly what I'm doing here and what all we need and we'll go from there.